And now, your local weather authority forecast. Chilly conditions dominating the basin thanks to a high pressure system in place with very clear skies, light winds from the northeast, and drier air allowing for radiational cooling to take into effect. This is a live look at Midland early on your Monday morning. City lights not highlighting any clouds. You can see some stars out there, the very clear skies indicating the very stable atmospheric conditions. Satellite and radar showing that not only in West Texas, but for much of the Lone Star State in Eastern Texas as well, as we are going to be seeing that high pressure system really limit clouds like we're seeing this morning throughout the afternoon today. Again, that infrared radiation, that heat from yesterday escaping into space this morning, that is what radiation cooling is. We're seeing plenty of that this morning, plenty of clear skies to go around. Some wispy white. It's wispy high level clouds in the southern part of this map in northern Mexico, not here in the basin. We'll likely see plenty of sunshine this afternoon. Make sure you guys have the sunglasses. Current air temperature 45 in intensity. That is that low temperature this morning so far. 44 in Big Spring earlier this morning, 42 in Alpine. So we're seeing temperatures for some starting off in the high 30s and lower 40s in the Marfa Plateau to the Davis Mountains. Not quite as chilly there in Presidio, 60 degrees. Eventually temperatures rising from the high 30s, 40s, 50s, and low 60s this morning into the high 60s, 70s, and 80s this afternoon. But we got a ways to go. Again, mostly clear skies, 45 officially at the airport in Midland. A little bit humid this morning in the lower levels of the atmosphere, 63% relative humidity. But much of the atmosphere from top to even pretty close to the surface, very dry, very good visibility right now at 10 miles. Pretty light north northeasterly winds to start. Picking up a little bit more from the east southeast this afternoon. That will allow for slightly higher temperatures this afternoon compared to this weekend. We were in the mid to upper 60s this weekend, 70s today, with plenty of sunshine to go around. Average high in the tall city is 79, average low 54. Reaching 73, look at that low temperature, 43 this morning. So getting a taste of fall this morning, but again, a little bit warmer this afternoon. That colder air in the panhandle, a little bit less chilly here in the basin, but for many starting off in the 40s, eventually warming up in the high 60s, 70s, and 80s this afternoon. This model slightly overestimating our temperatures, I think. I think we'll be closer to 73, not 75 in the tall city. These orange colors in parts of the Trans-Pecos indicate the 80s. Most of the clear skies overnight, not quite as chilly. In the 50s, winds pretty light from the east southeast, right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. A pretty cool start tomorrow morning, but warming up in a big way tomorrow afternoon. 82, slightly above normal temperatures, very sunny. South southwesterly winds that allow for not only the warmer air, but also the drier air as rain activity will remain very low for at least the next couple of days. Partly to mostly sunny Wednesday, 89. A little bit more humid in parts of the viewing area as a low pressure system develops. We'll see some rain late Wednesday to early Thursday for some, and then the atmosphere clears out and eventually warms up by the weekend.